everyone. I'm Adria from Medigold, and we're here at the Town Market at the Children's Discovery Center. And today I'm joined by Melanie from Hardware Science. Hi, Adriel. Hi, Melanie. Hi, thanks for inviting me here. Okay, so today we're going to be uh, doing a really quick experiment. Um, we're going to make cottage cheese. Not really something that you want to eat that we're going to make, yeah. like the ones we have here, mm -hmm. um, but just to kind of understand the process of how to make cottage yeah. cheese, okay? So I started off with just uh, pouring some milk, mm -hmm. uh, whole milk. Whole milk I find is the best. Um, you can do 1%, 2%, but whole milk is the best. It The reaction begins really quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just poured some in here and um, lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Lemon juice works best. Uh, again, uh, you can use vinegar. But when you leave vinegar in milk, it starts to solidify a li little bit more than cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that. We want, want that cottage cheese texture, right? Yeah. So once you go ahead and pour some mm -hmm. uh, lemon juice in there, you don't need to pour a lot, just a couple dribbles. That's good. You want more? You want to do one more? That's fine. Sure. I know it smells <laughs> good, yeah. I like the smell of lemon juice too. So yeah, so not too much. Uh, you can use a uh, real lemon mm -hmm. if you want. Cut them up, squeeze them in there. Um, and then, if you notice, it's already starting to curdle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you can kind of tell, there's like solid pieces in there. So once you pour the lemon juice into the milk, um, the chemical reaction begins. So I actually started one a few hours ago. So this has been sitting for, I'd say, about like five hours. So oh, wow. if you can see that, yeah, so it's it starting like to, cottage cheese. it's kind of looking like cottage cheese, not like meat, right? Well, we don't want to eat this one. This is, yeah. we're just trying to show people out there how the process, the of process of and how yeah, of how it's made, um, you know, and that's why, um, I don't know if you notice when sometimes you forget milk in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. when you pour it out, it has like solid yeah, mm -hmm. solid pieces, and it's actually starting to curdle because it starts, the acidity in the milk begins to um, react. Yeah. Well, that was really fun. Do you have any more experiments that we could check out? Yes, we do. Thanks for asking. Yes, so you can visit us um, on our YouTube channel, Hands On Science. We've got lots of cool experiments, uh, simple things you can do from items on, from the home, just like this. Uh, super fun. Uh, so, yeah, come. Visit our, visit our site. Um, we'd like to say thank you to the True Discovery Center for allowing us to do our experiment here at uh, the Town Market, which is sponsored by Medical. Thank you, Medical, for allow for providing us with um, the wonderful milk. <laughs> thank you very much, Medical. So yeah, so make sure to subscribe um, and follow us. We'll see, you next see you guys next time. Bye.